In the world of computational fluid dynamics, accurately simulating multiphase flows is crucial for various industries. Multiphase flows characterized by the interaction of two or more immiscible phases are prevalent in nature and industrial processes. From bubbly flows in chemical reactors to sediment transport in rivers, understanding these complex flows is vital for optimizing designs, enhancing efficiency and ensuring safety. Among the diverse range of multiphase models available in CFD, the mixture multiphase model stands out as a versatile and computationally efficient approach. At the heart of the mixture multiphase model lies a clever simplification, treating the multifaceted nature of multiphase flows as a single, homogeneous mixture. This approach streamlines the computational burden while capturing the essential physics governing these complex flows. Instead of meticulously tracking each phase individually, the mixture model averages their properties, such as density, viscosity and velocity, based on their respective volume fractions. This averaging process simplifies the governing equations and reduces the computational resources required for simulations. Imagine trying to track every single air bubble in a glass of champagne, a daunting task. One of the key features that sets the mixture multiphase model apart is its ability to handle interpenetrating phases. Unlike some models that strictly segregate phases with distinct boundaries, the mixture model allows for the coexistence of different phases within the same computational cell. This means that the volume fraction of each phase can vary continuously between 0 and 1 at any point in the domain. This characteristic is particularly relevant for flows where phases are intimately mixed, such as bubbly flows, emulsions and suspensions. In these cases, sharp interfaces are less defined and phases intertwine and interact dynamically. In the intricate ballet of multiphase flows, phases rarely move in perfect unison. Instead, they often exhibit relative motion, with one phase gliding past another, a phenomenon known as slip velocity. The mixture multiphase model acknowledges this fundamental aspect of multiphase flows by incorporating slip velocities into its framework. Unlike some simplified models that assume all phases share the same velocity field, the mixture model allows for distinct velocities for each phase. This distinction is crucial for accurately capturing the momentum exchange between phases, which influences the overall flow behavior. Imagine a raindrop falling through the air. The foundation conservation laws in action. At the heart of any fluid dynamics simulation lies a set of fundamental principles known as conservation laws. These laws, rooted in the idea that mass, momentum and energy must be conserved within a closed system, provide the mathematical bedrock for understanding fluid behavior. In the realm of multiphase flows, where multiple phases interact and exchange these conserved quantities, these laws become even more critical. Continuity equation tracking the mixture's flow. The first and perhaps most intuitive conservation law is the conservation of mass. Simply put, mass cannot be created or destroyed within a closed system. It can only flow from one point to another. This fundamental principle translates into the continuity equation, a cornerstone of fluid dynamics and a key governing equation in the mixture multiphase model. Momentum equation, unraveling the forces at play. The momentum equation delves into the forces that drive the flow. Rooted in Newton's second law of motion, it states that the rate of change of momentum of a fluid element is equal to the sum of all forces acting on it. Bridging the gap, the essence of constitutive relations. The governing equations of the mixture multiphase model capture fundamental conservation laws but are not self-sufficient. They contain more unknowns than equations, creating a mathematical puzzle. Constitutive relations bridge the gap, closing the system of equations. They describe the behavior of materials or systems under specific conditions. Mixture density, unveiling the collective mass. One of the fundamental properties of any fluid 
is its density, a measure of how much mass is packed into a given volume. In the realm of multiphase flows, where multiple phases coexist, defining a single density for the mixture becomes more nuanced. This is where the concept of mixture density comes into play, providing a way to represent the collective mass of the multiphase system. The mixture multiphase model employs a straightforward yet effective approach to calculate the mixture density. Mass averaged velocity, finding the flow's harmony. In the intricate dance of multiphase flows, each phase often moves with its own distinct velocity, influenced by various forces and interactions. However, to describe the overall motion of the multiphase system, a single representative velocity is needed. This is where the concept of mass averaged velocity comes into play, providing a harmonious average of the individual phase velocities, weighted by their respective mass contributions. The mixture multiphase model employs this mass weighted averaging approach to determine the velocity of the mixture as a whole. Like any computational model striving to represent the complexities of the physical world, the mixture multiphase model relies on a set of simplifying assumptions. These assumptions, while essential for reducing computational burden and making simulations tractable, introduce limitations that must be carefully considered when interpreting results and assessing the model's suitability for a particular application. One of the key assumptions underpinning the mixture model is the concept of a single continuum. The model treats the multiphase mixture as a single homogeneous fluid with averaged properties, effectively blurring the distinct boundaries between phases. This simplification, while computationally advantageous, assumes that the length scales of interest are significantly larger than the characteristic length scales of the individual phases and their interfaces. The assumption of local equilibrium, while simplifying the mathematical treatment of interface interactions, imposes limitations on the applicability of the mixture multiphase model. This assumption hinges on the notion that the momentum and energy transfer between phases occur rapidly enough to maintain a local balance, even in the presence of global gradients. In scenarios where the interface transfer processes are relatively slow compared to the characteristic flow time scales, the local equilibrium assumption might break down. For instance, in flows with rapid phase transitions such as flashing or condensation, the timescales associated with phase change might be comparable to or even slower than the flow timescales, leading to deviations from local equilibrium. The mixture multiphase model, with its inherent assumptions and simplifications, excels within specific boundaries of applicability. Understanding these boundaries is paramount for selecting the appropriate multiphase model and interpreting simulation results accurately. One crucial factor influencing the model's suitability is the relative importance of interfacial forces compared to inertial and viscous forces. The mixture model, by treating the multiphase system as a single continuum, inherently averages the interfacial forces over the volume of the mixture. This averaging process works well when interfacial forces are relatively small compared to other forces, such as in bubbly flows with low gas volume fractions or in suspensions with small particle sizes. Section 1. Decoding the dance of phases relative velocity in focus. In the intricate choreography of multiphase flows, the concept of relative velocity takes center stage. Unlike single phase flows, where all fluid elements move in concert, multiphase flows involve intricate interactions between distinct phases, each with its own velocity. Understanding and accurately representing this relative motion between phases is crucial for capturing the essential physics governing these complex flows. The mixture multiphase model acknowledges this fundamental aspect of multiphase flows by incorporating relative velocity into its framework. Instead of assuming that all phases move in unison, the model allows for distinct velocities for each phase, reflecting the reality of their independent motion. Is section 2, unveiling the slip quantifying the velocity difference. The term slip velocity often arises in discussions of relative velocity within the context of multiphase flows. 
Slip velocity, denoted as UPQ, quantifies the difference in velocity between two distinct phases, PP and core Q. Within the flow field, it provides a direct measure of how much faster or slower one phase is moving relative to another. Mathematically, the slip velocity between phases P and Q is simply the vector difference between their respective velocities. UPQ equals UP minus UQ, where UP represents the velocity of phase P and UQ represents the velocity of phase Q. Section 3, Turbulence, adding a twist to the relative dance. While the concept of slip velocity captures the relative motion between phases in laminar flows, the presence of turbulence adds another layer of complexity. Turbulent flows, characterized by their chaotic and unpredictable nature, introduce fluctuations in velocity that can significantly impact the relative motion between phases. In turbulent multiphase flows, the slip velocity is no longer solely determined by the mean velocity difference between phases. Turbulent eddies with their swirling motions can entrain particles or droplets, causing them to deviate from their expected paths and altering the overall slip velocity. Industrial applications enhancing efficiency and separation. The versatility of the mixture multiphase model has cemented its place as an indispensable tool across a myriad of industrial processes. From optimizing the design of chemical reactors to enhancing the efficiency of separation equipment, the model's ability to capture the essence of multiphase flows while maintaining computational efficiency has revolutionized engineering practices. In the realm of chemical engineering, the mixture model finds widespread application in simulating bubble columns a ubiquitous presence in chemical and biochemical reactors. These towering structures, characterized by the upward flow of gas bubbles through a liquid phase, rely on efficient mixing and mass transfer between phases for optimal reaction rates. Environmental flows, unveiling nature's multiphase choreography. The mixture multiphase model unravels the complexities of environmental flows, shaping Earth's landscapes and ecosystems. From sediment transport in rivers to atmospheric pollutant dispersion, the model reveals intricate processes. In hydrology, it simulates sediment transport governing river morphology, delta formation, and aquatic health. Section 3, beyond the conventional expanding the horizons of mixture models. The mixture multiphase model extends far beyond conventional industrial and environmental flows. Researchers push the model's boundaries, exploring novel areas and unique multiphase flow phenomena. Active research includes multiphase flows in porous media, crucial for oil recovery and groundwater remediation. Summarizing the power of simplification. The mixture multiphase model stands out as a beacon of elegant simplification in computational fluid dynamics. It balances capturing essential physics and maintaining computational efficiency. This model handles interpenetrating phases and slip velocities, providing valuable insights into multiphase flow phenomena. Embracing the limitations, a balanced perspective. The mixture multiphase model is powerful but has limitations. Simplifying assumptions impose boundaries on its applicability. Local equilibrium assumptions may not hold for rapid phase transitions. Averaging interfacial forces might not capture dynamics in high gas volume fractions. Section 3. Charting the course, future directions and enhancements. The journey of the mixture multiphase model, however, does not end with acknowledging its limitations. Instead, these limitations serve as guideposts, directing ongoing research efforts aimed at refining the model, expanding its capabilities and pushing the boundaries of its applicability. One avenue of active research focuses on developing improved constitutive relations that more accurately capture the complex interplay between phases in a wider range of flow regimes. This includes refining drag correlations for non-spherical particles, incorporating models for bubble coalescence and breakup, and accounting for the effects of surface tension gradients and Marangoni stresses.